It's another gross day. I don't get how days go from so beautiful like yesterday to like a rainy and gray. Anyways, Mike and I are in the Tim Hortons drive through because we needed some coffee. I woke up with a headache for some reason and I just need some coffee and food. I tried this muffin. <laughs> this muffin. muffin. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet, can you tell? Anyways, I tried this muffin a couple days ago because I wanted a raisin bran muffin, but they didn't have. It's the apple cranberry bran muffin from Tim Hortons. It's really good, and I just got a medium coffee, two milks, one Splenda. And Mike got a double-double, and he got a bagel, and I'm just so excited to eat. So I'm leaving Mike's house now, and <laughs> it's Tuesday, and literally all I want to do is get home, shower, self tan, and get into bed. Not get into bed, but like relax. I woke up with like a massive headache, so I need to like sleep it off, I guess. Anyways, we had a really good Thanksgiving weekend and it was uh, it was beautiful most of the days. So it's rainy and cold today, so I just wanna get home, make a nice cup of tea, and watch The Walking Dead, and maybe catch up on Nashville, because I haven't done that. And I was planning on filming today, but it's just like, gross and rainy outside and I know like that sounds so stupid like oh it's gross and rainy so you don't want to film but like I really like using natural light for a lot of my videos and the lighting is just not that great. Tomorrow I'm gonna have definitely a filming day. It's Wednesday so Mike has a game and I realize I don't think I ever showed him playing in like an actual game so maybe I'll film a little of his game tomorrow. I like going up to his games with him because I don't like go out to that area all that often like where he well I go often like to watch him play but I don't go often to like hang out there because like it's pretty far but I was thinking see my hair is like a mess I don't know why it's like this rain and everything if I go up with him we'll have to leave around three so I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and film I haven't had a filming day in a while because I've been vlogging since you guys liked it so much but I do want to film a sit down video and just have some videos ready to upload because with Sierra coming on Thursday, we'll for sure be vlogging, but I want to have videos to upload just in case I don't, oh, that's a beautiful Jeep, a white Jeep. I used to always want a black, a white Jeep, but now I'm looking at black Jeeps and I'm like, oh, those are so nice. Or the dark gray or dark green, but I'll probably get dark gray or black, but black is just like classic. Anyways, I just want to say that I thank you guys so much for all your comments on the video where I talked about getting my Jeep because I got so much like input and so many people were like, oh, I love them. I love my Jeeps. A lot of people were also like, oh, like I know a lot of people who got a Jeep and then they like exchanged it or whatever. I'm not getting a Jeep like tomorrow because I'm going to have to sell my car and everything. It's not going to happen anytime like right now, but it's just it's gonna happen. Also, I just wanna say that I don't even know if I like Jeeps, like the way they drive, because I said I've never driven in a Jeep. I'm just purely going off of like what they look like. So I don't know if I'm in even like how I drive. Like if I test drive one, I'm like, ooh, this is not my style, this is not what I like, then obviously I'm not gonna get it. I have to go test drive, and my dad actually told me that he wanted to get a Jeep too, so it's funny, because like we, I hadn't told him about it, and he was like, oh, like I wanted to get a Jeep too, but he wants like an orange one. Anyways. Uh, also, I just want to say something because I got a comment on Instagram and I think it was just from like a troll trying to get a reaction out of me, but not that my money is anyone's business at all, but I just want to say, because it annoys me because I'm proud that I'm able to like financially support myself. A whole big part of why I'm able to like financially support myself and not have to take money from my parents is because I do live with my parents. I've never made it seem like I don't live with my parents. I do live with my parents and it's very normal for where I live. For you to live with your parents until you're much older like my cousin Tiffany lived with her she had a boyfriend she had a fiance but until she got married she lived with her parents and I don't know if it's because my family's Greek or but it's very very common in where I live all my friends live at home there's just no reason for me to move out right now and I don't really want to move out right now like of course I want to move out and I have this idea in my head like oh yeah I'll move out and I'll be able to decorate my own place but it's not something that I feel I need to do. Just because, why am I gonna go out, spend a th over $1,000 a month on rent, Wi-Fi, food, electricity, everything, when I can live at home, my parents don't want me to move out, my dad is like, you're not moving out until you're like very old. So, 
it's just, you know, it's, I guess it's different depending on where you live. All the money I make, it's mine to spend and save how I, how I choose. My parents don't give me money. The Jeep would be leased under my name and I would be paying for it. Like my parents would not be paying for it. So not that it's anyone's business, but it just really annoys me when people are like, oh, you're just living off your parents because I mean, I guess I am, I'm living with my parents and they pay for like for the house and electricity and Wi-Fi and everything. Everything I buy is using my own money. So it's just really annoying. I'm proud that I'm able to do it. I'm proud that I don't have to ask my parents like, hey, can I have money for shopping or can I have money for this? My money that's taking me shopping and you know, paying for gas and everything like that. And if I wanna go eat, like I don't ask my parents for money. Like it's all my money, all my gas, everything is my money. I don't ask my parents for money. So like maybe it's just my pride. Like, oh, I'm like, oh, this is my money to spend. Like, but like if you were earning your own money and people are like, oh, you're living off your parents, wouldn't you get a little pissed off too? Not that I owe anyone an explanation about my money and or, or anything, but it's just getting old when I hear people saying, oh, mommy and daddy bought that for you. Mommy and daddy bought you boobs. Mommy and daddy bought you this. It's getting old, okay? Like what am I gonna, I'm gonna be married and they're gonna be saying, mommy and daddy bought you this. Wouldn't you wanna give your children everything that you could? It's like, that's like when people are like, oh, Kylie Jenner is like overdoing it and like buying all these things. Like if you had her money, you would be doing the same thing. So you know what, don't point fingers. It's very easy to point fingers and critique when you're not in their shoes, but I don't know. Like I always say, I think it was a Bob Marley quote. It was like, don't point fingers unless your hands are clean. Something to think about. I just got home and I checked the mail. I have a little issue because I just got my Fab Fit Fun box that I've been waiting for. But I think they gave me or gave us a new mailman because I knew the mailman for a long time because I, I get so many packages. He would always be at the door and he would always ring the doorbell even if we didn't need to sign for anything. And I think there's a new mailman because he didn't even ring the doorbell and like my packages were just outside in the rain. But anyways, my friend Megan, I'll link her channel down below because she's really funny. But we were talking about highlighters as you do and she was telling me about the Dior Amber Diamond and how it's discontinued and, and how it goes for like over $200 on eBay. And not even the next day, a YouTube friend actually posted this on her blog sale. It's called Amber Diamond and it's by Dior. You can't get it anymore, which I feel bad showing you guys, but it looks really pretty. And I kind of swatched it on my hat. I'm on my computer now because my phone doesn't have enough um, room because I only have 16 gigabytes and I'm sorry my hair looks like a wreck but I want to film the unboxing of the Fat Fun because I was so excited because not even a day after I was talking with Megan about this Dior highlighter Sandra posted it on her blog sale so I figured it was meant to be and I scooped it up really quickly but I think this is gonna be perfect because as you guys know I love the glowy bronze look and apparently this one is like amazing I don't know why Dior discontinued it if anyone knows please let me know because I'm sure a lot of people are dying to know but Megan was like, I'm saving mine, like it's so amazing. I'm gonna unbox the Fab for Fun box right now. I'm not even wearing a bra, and look, it's like I have boobs. Well, I do have boobs, because I got a boob job, but um, before, like I could not wear a shirt just like this with no bra. And today's National bra -less Day. Okay, so I've unboxed the Fab for Fun boxes a couple times on my channel, and I didn't wanna do like a whole video about it, just because those videos don't really do that well, even though I love watching unboxing videos, so I figured I would just unbox it with you in a vlog, because today I'm not really doing much. I've been waiting for this, and I've been not watching all my favorite YouTubers' um, unboxing videos, because I wanted to see, I wanted to like be surprised. I love unboxing, I look like I'm going to stab someone. Anyways, FabFitFun, is, it's here. This looks like this, when you open it, a nice little sticker. Ooh, oh, yay. Okay, the Gold Radiance mask contains two facial masks. And I've seen, um, like, YouTubers do this in vlogs and stuff. Mike's gonna wanna do this already, I know. It's actually gold. How crazy is that? And this alone is $65, just this mask. Like, purple purse, what's this? Purple purse. Oh, I think this is a little purse charm. You can help end domestic violence and financial abuse. Oh, that's good. Domestic violence is a cause I'm very, very strong about. Not because I have like personal experience with it, but just because I don't believe that love should be painful. And it's sad that so many people, men and women, get stuck in that sort of cycle. Nice bracelet. Oh, this is going to be pretty. It's a little gray beaded bracelet. Priming gloss stain. This is like such a me color. What's this? Flawless Skin Fluid. Oh, it's a moisturizer. I love trying new moisturizers because I feel like I'm always running out of it. And it says it helps brighten up your skin. 
and improve appearance of unwanted pigmentation. A FabFitFun umbrella. I always like keeping lots of extra umbrellas in the car because I have two, or I have like one or two. I hate sharing umbrellas because one person's always out in the rain, so I make sure I have lots of spare umbrellas, so that will be perfect for my car. Strength Toning Ankle Cuff. And it comes with a lower body and core DVD. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll do that. Regular resistance. I need to get back into working out. Portable power bank. Oh, you can never have too many power banks, let me tell you. And I got a mint green one. I love mint green. And then, ooh, this is interesting. Crest introducing Beauty's new Power Couple 3D Crest. Ooh, this looks like good. I got a lot of questions about how I whiten my teeth, and I just use Too Faced. I haven't whitened my teeth in a while, but I just ordered a new teeth whitening because, I don't know, I just like when my teeth are extra, extra bright, so I just ordered a new one, and I'm excited to try it. I'll do, like, a first impression, but I'm excited to try this. There's, like, a step one, which is a deep cleansing Too Faced, and then step two, a whitening finisher. Oh, there's a coupon underneath. That's good, because if I go to the States, well, I'm going to the States on Thursday you can get $2 off of this two-step tooth toothpaste. I'm excited. The total value of everything in this box was $357, not including the sponsored items. I was just so happy about everything. I will leave the link to FabFitFun and a coupon code to get, I think, $10 off, so it'll be like $39 for this box, with a retail value of over $350. All you need is love and a pumpkin spice latte. That's so cute. Anyways, I really love these FabFitFun boxes. I like them more than any other, like, more expensive so box. I recently just tried ramen noodles for the first time, but I don't eat them like that because I've never liked soup, so that's why I never had them. But I saw that Shannon Rose did a video about them, like how she made it, so this is totally like her way of making it. Basically, I just took a package of the Mr. Noodle, noodle Spicy Chicken and in a bowl. I filled it up and so like the noodles can cook. And don't throw away your little pack of seasoning because you're going to need it, but I'm going to make it a little bit different. To add protein to the, to the noodles, I have a pan heating up. So this is just some chicken breast that I cubed and I marinated in like low sodium teriyaki sauce and um, what is this that my dad cooked? Ew, it's like Greek chicken soup. Now I'm just going to cook that, not with any of the sauce. I just wanted like a little bit of flavor. So I just cooked up the chicken and it's brown because it was marinating in teriyaki sauce. And now I'm just going to take the bowl of noodles. And, oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy bowl. Until the noodles cook. And I always think that if I stand in front of the microwave, I'm going to get, like, sick. I just wiped out, rinsed out, and wiped out the pans because I didn't want any of the chicken juice or oil or whatever. But you know you're Greek when you come back from Greece with olive oil in a water bottle. And this is, like liquid gold that's from my olive trees and we're running so low from when we came so I'm gonna put in like maybe because you want to kind of fry the noodles and olive oil is a healthy fat so I'm not saying this is like a super healthy meal but it's not like crazy and olive oil is a good fat so I just put in like a teaspoon amount for the noodles so once you have drained your noodles you're gonna leave like a little bit of water left and then you can just go ahead and put it right in the pan and it's sizzling because there's water. And take a fork or a spoon whatever and break it apart. Once you have your chicken, your thing in the pan, you're gonna use a little bit of the spicy chicken or whatever seasoning. You can use beef or shrimp, whatever you like. You definitely don't want to put in the whole pack, but you want to put in enough to like kind of make the noodles a little darker because it is very high in sodium, but I'd probably use like a quarter of the pack. And then I just re-added the chicken in and let it like all heat up and mix it up and you want the noodles to get a little bit crispy. Okay, so I have you resting on my um, microwave. But what's funny is as a kid, my mom never fed us, um, my no mom never fed us. She never fed us ramen noodles. And I actually just tried ramen noodles for the first time, like I think it was Saturday. This is what it looks like when it's done. Again, it's not like the most Instagram worthy picture meal ever. But it's different than what you are probably used to eating ramen. And then the final touch is just taking a little bit of sriracha. This is hot sauce. And I like spicy foods. I don't know if it's the best thing to eat with a headache. But then I just drizzle some hot sauce on top because I like I love spicy. And then mix it in. And there you have a quick, easy dinner. I'm going to have some mini sweet tomatoes, which are my favorite thing in the world. But I can tell you, I think my headache was because I wasn't having any protein. I feel better already just eating like that half a sausage. So now I'm gonna go eat this and watch The Walking Dead. Sorry about the flash and the mess on my bed. It's from my FabFitFun unboxing. But Bentley literally only comes to my bed when I have food. Benny, you're not getting any of this. Your bum will be on fire. Not kidding. Whenever he wants food, he puts on this cute show, putting his paw on my paw. 
that he only does this when he wants food. I swear, you're a devil dog. You are. You all think he's so cute, but he's sometimes he's the spawn of Satan. But, I mean, how could you say no to this face? Maybe you'll get a nice piece of chicken. I was craving something sweet, but I didn't... Look, again, once I have food, he's he's right there. Anyways, I was watching The Walking Dead after eating dinner, and I wanted something sweet, so I decided to try and make an apple cinnamon mug cake, which is basically just, like, protein powder and some stuff. I'm going to perfect this recipe, and then I'll do a video about it, because I, I don't know if it's the protein powder I'm not a huge fan of. I use the Quest protein powder, but... It tastes pretty good. The apples are really good. And it was made in the microwave. Very, very high in protein, so it's great for that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a video on this once I perfect the recipe. 